Hi, I'm Bob in Osterhout. I want to talk to you about the mourning process, the, the, the process of dealing effectively with a loss. And, and th there are many kinds of losses that we experience in life. It could be the loss of a loved one who's died. Uh, it could be a loss of function if we've been injured or, or ill or, or uh, disabled in some way. Uh, could be loss of a relationship, um, loss of a job. Uh, there are many different losses, uh, but each of them uh, require a healthy mourning process. And I want to just quickly describe that process uh, because understanding how it works help us to make sure that we're continuing to move in a healthy direction. Uh, I'd like, you to re like to refer you to the, uh, the video on emotions uh, because that explains the nature of emotions and understanding that will clear up a lot of things and help you to move forward with this. Um, the first thing about the mourning process is, is there is no definite sequence that's ever been identified. Uh, some people have written about that, but it's never been confirmed in research and, and I've not seen that in my clinical experience whatsoever. Um, what happens is that is there emotions will arise uh, based on events uh, and it isn't like there's one continuous emotion. There's a bunch of new emotions because emotions are always connected with the moment. And the key to the mourning process is simply remaining open to those emotions. And that takes time and energy. So one of the first things I recommend when someone has experienced a loss is allow time for mourning. If it, try to clear your plate as much as you can uh, because if, if you continue your, more, your normal schedule and it's at all a busy schedule, you're going to have difficulty completing the, health, the mourning process in a healthy way. And I see that again and again and again with people who come in with symptoms of depression and anxiety um, because they tried to just get moving too quickly after a significant loss. A significant loss sets us back. It's really important to be able to slow down, take your time, and process it. It's not necessarily to put forth effort in that. It's a natural process. The emotions will arise on their own. You don't have to think about it or focus on it or write about it or talk about it even necessarily. Sometimes those things are helpful if they bring you comfort, uh, but they can also just stimulate more emotions and, and create more tension if there is a process of tension building because of resisting the emotions. Uh, but the key to the mourning process is to recognize that emotions can come up um, with a lot of times unexpectedly. Uh, uh, any insignificant thing can trigger a memory and, and then there's a sadness that arises or, or a loss. So it's, it's helpful just to recognize that it's a normal process if you don't resist it uh, and if you practice the diaphragmatic breathing and grounding, which are explained on other videos, that helps you to, to uh, stop from physically resisting it. And when you don't physically resist emotions, they will naturally move through you and pass on. So mourning is a, is a natural process. Uh, but it requires time uh, and you want to be gentle with yourself during that process and not to push yourself or feel a sense of pressure uh, to move on. Uh, take care.